Good morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Friday, TGIF. I am so happy that it's Friday. I'm excited for the weekend. I'm just really tired. I feel like this week went by super slowly and it's just been like a really, really long week. I've been so busy at work. So I'm just looking forward to the weekend. Um, and I'm gonna make some coffee, Avi, right, obviously. It's actually only nine o'clock right now and I normally try to wait until like 10 or 11 to have my coffee, but I'm just like, I've been feeling really hungry lately. I think I might be getting my, you know what, like that time of the month is coming. Um, so I've just been like really hungry <laughs> lately. And also, you guys know I'm trying to lose weight. My goal is to lose 10 pounds this month. I have lost six pounds since I started my diet. I think I started on the first. I can't really remember, but I've lost six pounds, but I haven't really lost any weight like this whole week. I've just been, I've just been maintaining my weight. So next week I'm gonna get like more serious about it. I mean, I kind of am serious about it, but like at the same time, not. <laughs> So yeah, next week we're gonna try to lose at least like another two pounds or something. So we'll see But my goal is to lose like I wanted to lose 10 pounds this month So we'll see um So yeah, anyways, I was saying that it is still kind of early. It's only nine o'clock But like I said, I've just been feeling really hungry This past couple of days. So I'm gonna just make my coffee now. I just want it now. So, yeah. Okay, let's make some coffee. <laughs> I'm going to use this frozen mug. It has Anna and Elsa on this side and then Olaf on this side. And then it has just like a design on the inside. I love this mug. I actually got this at Disneyland many years ago. I think like maybe 2015, 2016. Like I, I've had this for a super long time. The other day I actually filmed a what I eat in a day, but it was kind of like a full day of eating what I eat in a day plus mukbangs. So I did like show how I made my lunch, my dinner, and I sat and ate like I did mukbangs. It's all in one video. I think it's like 20 minutes. So if you're interested in that, like if that's something you want to see, it's on Mel BZ Eats. Um... So yeah, I don't know if you guys want to see that. It's there. I'm going to try to start. I'm going to try to start. <laughs> My brain feels like mush. I want to do more of those videos basically is what I was trying to say. So yeah, they're, they're over there on Mel BZ Eats. And then I'm sure you guys have noticed I haven't had any nails the past like week or so. I, I think I'm gonna do my nails tomorrow and I want to do a I want to film a tutorial on how I do the gel X nails I know I've showed it like before in a couple of videos, but it wasn't really like a good video You couldn't really see very well what I was doing So now that I have that little setup like for my phone so I could film upside down I think I'll be able to film a better tutorial. I'm hoping fingers crossed so I'm going to try to do that tomorrow, and that video is going to go up on more Mel BZ. So, if that's something that you guys are interested in, if you guys want to see how I do my nails, um, that'll be the video for you. Alright, creamer. Sugar-free Italian sweet cream. Oh. I also ordered more nail tips. Um, they're coming today, actually. Let me take you guys. I'll take you guys over here. Um, I ordered more nail tips. As of right now, I have square, round. Um, actually, I just have square and round, but I have them in different lengths. So I have extra short, short, and medium. But I went ahead and ordered their stiletto nails, the short length. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to use tomorrow. I'm going to try that. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I haven't had like stiletto nails in a while. I've just been going for like round and square. But you guys remember I used to always have my nails with the stiletto shape. Those used to be my favorite um, nail shapes. I also got more dossier, you guys. They sent me two more 
So I was super, super excited. I actually told Vanessa to pick a scent and then I told Papa Bear to pick a scent. That way they get to try it out too. AJ doesn't wear cologne, so I didn't ask him. Um, but this is the one that Vanessa chose. It's called Fruity Brown Sugar. Again, I love their packaging. It just looks very sleek, very modern. And this is a magnet, which I love. I just think it looks really clean and just, I just like the packaging. So this has notes of bergamot, raspberry, pear. Those are the top notes. Middle notes, jasmine, orange blossom, and brown sugar. Base notes, patchouli. I'm not sure if I said that right. Amber and vanilla. This one is inspired by YSL, Mon Peri. If you guys don't know about Dossier, they basically um, have perfume and cologne that is inspired by like brand name perfumes and colognes. And this one smells so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells... I haven't tried the actual YSL Mon Peri, but this smells so good. It is a sweet scent, so if you don't like sweet scents, you won't like it, but... I personally love the sweeter scents and like the vanilla scents. And this smells very good. Very good. That one I recommend. And they're so affordable, you guys. Also, I do have a discount code. Everything is in the description. If you guys are interested, go check them out. Um, and make sure you use the discount code. Okay, so this one is Papa Bear's that he chose. And it's called Aromatic Pineapple. Oh, and look at the difference between the label. This one is a perfume and this one is a cologne. The top notes for this one is bergamot, ginger, pineapple. Middle notes, clary sage, geranium, and juniper berry. And the base notes are amberwood, cedarwood, and olibanum. I'm not sure what that is. This one is inspired by YSLY. So another YSL, but it's, it's called YSLY. It's a cologne for men. And it smells so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. It just smells like, like a man. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm so bad at describing the scents, but it just smells really good. It smells like I just walked into the department store and, you know, you're in the men's cologne section and just, just smells really good. So check them out. They're super affordable. Like if you were to compare this to the actual, like YSLY, this is so much more affordable and they smell like so good you guys so check them out um there's a discount code down below in the description and yeah so far i'm really liking them i have no complaints at all they smell so good and they're affordable so it's a win-win so i just got in my new gel x nail extensions i actually got these on amazon um, you can also order directly from their website. The nice thing about ordering from their website is you do earn rewards, but they do charge for shipping. I think it's like $10 for shipping. So I wasn't going to order like just one set of nails and pay $10 for shipping. <laughs> like I just didn't want to do that. Um, but I definitely would order from them if I was ordering a lot more. You know what I mean? So I found these on Amazon. It was a couple dollars more, but I do have Prime. So... I get free shipping so you know so i do have these linked in my amazon storefront if you guys are interested and let's take a look at how these look these are the stilettos that i was telling you guys about the stiletto short length so wow these are nice okay so they are a true like stiletto shape they are pretty pointy you can always file that down a little bit if you don't like it like that but that's totally what I was going for. So I am excited to try these. I am going to apply these tomorrow. I'm excited. I also wanted to point out that these are the natural shaped nails. So when you go look at these nail extensions, there's two different shapes. There's a natural shape and there's a curved shape. If you have a flat nail bed like me, like you can see if it will focus, yeah. You can see my nail beds are flat. They're flat, you see? Come on. They're flat like that. If you have a flat nail bed, which most people do, you can choose the natural shape 
or the curved shape. But if you have a curved nail bed, meaning like your nail bed, like your actual nail is, you know, naturally curved, you can only use the curved nails, or I think they call it sculpted. You can only use those. You cannot use these natural ones because they're not gonna fit your nail shape. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out. I always get the natural shape when I get my nail extensions. these blinds in the living room which I never do honestly I don't know why I never open the blinds because it looks so much better with the blinds open um, and you have all this natural light coming in and it just looks so much better in here it's so bright and I love it I don't honestly I should do this every day <laughs> so I'm just really loving it right now it's so nice and bright in here so it's 12 15 right now I just finished eating lunch I had the leftover tinola, the one I made last night. I just had two pieces of the chicken drumsticks. I had two drumsticks and um, some vegetable. And then I put like a lot of soup in my bowl because I love the soup, the sabao. And then I put just like the tiniest amount of rice, probably just like that much rice. And that was my lunch. And then I also had a banana. There is still one piece of chicken left and some vegetable. So I'm gonna save that for Vanessa. When she gets home from school, she might be hungry. She might wanna eat that. She gets off at 1.20 today. So I'm gonna pick her up. AJ already went to work. He only works from 12 to four today. So yeah, he only works four hours today, 12 to four. So I'm by myself. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could clean but I kind of just like don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna save the cleaning for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just sitting here. I might watch some YouTube actually. I cannot wait for Vlogmas, you guys. For Vlogtober and Vlogmas, I'm just excited. I don't know what it is this year, but I'm super excited for the holidays and I just can't wait. I'm excited. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start on dinner now. I'm making two different things. I'm making adobo this is pork sparibs by the way so we're making a little bit of adobo for aj and then sinigang for me and vanessa because aj doesn't like sinigang so i thought i would just take some of the meat and make adobo for him so i'm cooking that in a small pot and then just this small amount of meat for me and vanessa for the sinigang i am a woman not here to please you it's time to move on cause my time is now I am a woman, play by my own rules I got my two feet on solid ground And then I take the first step a million more And I make mistakes I never made before But either way I know I made up my mind I'm through feelings gay, I'm leaving all that behind So I'm gonna let it shine 
did not marinate the meat. I completely forgot, but it, it's fine. So in here I just have soy sauce, vinegar, garlic, and a little bit of black peppercorn. And we're gonna let this boil for a few minutes before I add in the water. And then for in this pot, we're gonna cook the sinigang. I'm gonna start by boiling the meat. I actually have the meat here. So I need to put water in here and then get the meat boiling. So we have the adobo cooking in here. I might have to add a little more water to that. And then in here we have the sinigang boiling. So I just have onion and tomato. And then once the meat is cooked, I'm gonna add in the sinigang mix, which is this right here. And then for vegetable, I'm just putting broccoli and then serrano pepper. You guys, look who's back, Steuben! Steubinski! What can I say? And I'm watching Grey's Anatomy, but you guys, you guys like Steuben's new look? What do you think? Should Steuben start his own YouTube channel? You guys, leave a comment. Should Steuben start his own YouTube channel? Yes or no? Let him know. I think he would, I think he would like YouTube. His own channel, you know? He could be the star. He could do whatever he wants. What do you think, Steuben? Sounds like a good idea. All right, get to it. Bye.